In other news tonight, we're hearing from the cousin of a man killed in a trench collapse in Philadelphia's East Oak Lane neighborhood. Firefighters raced to save the man who became trapped underground by dirt and concrete. David Spunt is at the scene tonight. David. Yuki, it's been 12 hours since this collapse occurred. The man's name who passed away, Anthony Smith. Right now, crews are working behind me trying to work on this scene. Smith's body was pulled from this scene about two hours ago. Family members of Anthony Smith were understandably overcome with grief after a trench collapsed as he was working on a plumbing job at this home in East Oak Lane late Thursday morning. It's just chaos, bro. Like, it's chaos. Kevin Blake isn't just Anthony Smith's colleague. He's his cousin. He worked with him at the contracting company. Blake says he went to the store this morning to pick up construction supplies when his phone rang. My uh, cousin fell in a hole and he was trapped. Two of Smith's colleagues were able to escape from the collapse. Unfortunately, he could not. Authorities say Smith was about 15 feet down. Once the, uh, the collapse started, everything just filled in the hole. And unfortunately, uh, the gentleman was caught and pulled down and actually threw, it looks, appears that he was thrown against one of the walls. Authorities say the heavy rains caused more moisture around the trench, eventually leading to the collapse. Now a family has to say goodbye to a man who loved his family and life. He's a great guy, he's a great family man. He has two beautiful kids, a great wife. I mean, he's a hardworking guy, bro. Like, he helps everybody. Well, the cleanup continues behind me and will for several more hours into the early morning hours. The investigation also continues. Authorities say the top priority is finding out a way to make sure this does not happen to anybody else. Again, many calling this just a freak accident today. Reporting live tonight, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yuki. Mm -hmm.